Good morning. Today I'm making chicken parm. So this is how I'm doing it. I'm using this Parmesan packet that I bought. You know me, I like my clubhouse. So this is a sheet pan um, product. So we're going to do it on a sheet pan. You're supposed to use chicken breast, but I'm using chicken thighs. So I put this in a bowl. And then I just dumped them in one by one into the breadcrumbs and Parmesan. Then I sprayed the pan and put it onto the pan. So we're going to put that in the oven for 15 minutes at 425. And then we're going to take it out and we're going to add some spaghetti sauce or tomato sauce to it. So I changed my mind. I did add vegetables to the sheet pan recipe. So I added some broccoli. It's a Asian mix of vegetables. And you just put it around the chicken and it will cook along with the chicken. Okay. So it's time to take out the chicken from the oven. Cause we're going to put the, Oh, the sauce on it. Look at that. It smells good. It smells really good. It smells really good. So I'm going to move around. I'm going to move this around a little bit. Move those vegetables around. Now I'm just going to put the, whoo, I'm going to put the sauce on it. Make a chicken. To make a chicken parmesan. So I'm going to be using a, you can use any sauce you want, but I'm using a thick and zesty Romano cheese and basil flavor primo sauce. I'm just going to put a big tablespoon on each. There we go. Num, num, num. So it says, oh. so it says to put it in for another 10 minutes. I think it's going to need more than that. So I'm going to put it in for 20 because my oven sucks. It's not as hot as it's supposed to be. So I'm going to put it in for another 20 minutes. Da, 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 da. 20 minutes and it should be done. This is going to be a good dinner tonight. So as I'm making the chicken in the oven, I'm making some butt nuggets. So these are eggs that I picked up at the grocery store. Now look at this. Look how small this is. This is a small egg. And this is what's been going on lately. I picked this up at the Food Basics. They're selection eggs. It's an 18 pack. And what does it say there? Large eggs. Now, this food basics or selection company, I need you to know this. Do better. These are so tiny. These are not large eggs. So you're gouging us. Now, this is the biggest pack we could buy in that grocery store. And this is the pack I've always bought. And I've noticed in the last month or so that they're small, not large. So selection co company, the selection company, you see that? Do better. If, they're one, if there's one thing that bothers me, it's people ripping people off. And right now, we're being ripped off in so many ways. It's, I'm disgusted. I'm really disgusted. You know, they, they say large egg and it's all small. So the extra large eggs are probably medium. You know, I've checked other cartons and, uh, yeah, they all look small to me. And even my mother said it too. Like she, she's been doing eggs for years, obviously. And yeah, it's very small. So do better. 
I'm also cooking up those sausages again. They were so good. So I'm making breakfast and making dinner at the same time. So I don't have anything to do today cooking wise. Okay, so time to take it out. Let's take a peek, see if it's ready. Oh, hot! Freaking steam. Oh, it smells really good. Okay, so I'm going to check it with my little thermometer here. So we want it to go to... 165 and go. One sixty five. Come on. Hold on, I'm just stick it somewhere else in there, right there. Try another one. Okay, that's not ready, and it's only at 155. So I'm gonna put it in for another couple minutes, maybe five minutes. First off, I'm just gonna move these around because I don't want oh shit, they're sticking. I don't like it when it sticks. Yeah, the vegetables are pretty much ready. Oh yeah, definitely ready. The chicken's not ready yet. And I put it extra extra time too. Well, when I become a little bit richer, I'm going to buy another stove. It's a nice stove, but it just doesn't cook the way I want it to cook. But I bet you all the stoves are like that now, pretty much. Unless I find one of those older stoves that I used to have. Okay, so back in the oven. I'll put it in there for maybe 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes should be good. So while I wait, I'm just going to do the dishes and uh, maybe have a little convo with you. So I was supposed to go to the food truck this morning. They had another food truck food giveaway, but I didn't go because, well, the last few times I went, I was in line for about two and a half to three hours. It's a long time. And it costs money for gas. Like right now we're at, uh, what's the gas prices? It's gone down to it last, yesterday it was uh, 154. So 154 a liter here right now. So. Dollar fifty four, sorry, dollar fifty four a liter. So yeah, we're like, well, we don't really want to waste the gas. We went into Frugal's last was it last week or the week before, and we made a little order there. We picked up some stuff for the freezer. So my freezers are good for the next coming month. My freezer freezer is pretty packed. Just gotta pick up odds and ends. So I figured, well, I'm not gonna go this time. It's free food, yeah, but um, I gotta use gas to go and get it. So today, I don't have much plans going on. I have all my housework done already. And, well, I think what I'm going to do, I'm thinking maybe I'm going to make that advent calendar. So instead of buying chocolates and chocolate calendars, me and Jay started this tradition last year where I make little goodies, like little desserts. And uh, we get one each day. And that's kind of like our advent calendar. So I'm thinking I might do that today. I might start with that. I'm not sure what I'll make yet. Maybe some peanut butter balls or some almond balls or... I don't know. But that's what I feel like doing today. Maybe a little bit of baking. It's getting a little colder here. And I'm feeling it, I'll tell you. Well, not right now. <laughs> Obviously, it's not cold in the house, but it's cold outside. It's cold outside. So I'm not spending as much time outside. I'm not eating breakfast outside anymore because it's too cold and your breakfast gets cold by the time you eat it. So, yeah. So that's my plans for today. I think I'll do some baking. So you might see a future video on uh, my baking for my advent calendar. Well, right in time. So let's go check out the oven. Let's go make sure this is done this time. Shush. Shush. I don't want to hear you. So we'll move this out of the way. Bah, 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 bah. 
Holy moly. Can't see. My glasses are all steamed up, so i got to wait a second. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think that's ready now. It's pretty brown. It's not ready. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Every oven's different, eh? So we want... 165, 165, 165, 165. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. 165, 165, 165, 165. We got 165. It's going up to 170, 170, 170, 170, 170. Here we go. Woo! It's ready, finally. This one good? 165, 165, 165, 165, 165, 170, 170, 170, 170. Yeah. Woo. Okay, so these are ready. Ooh, let's see this one. Then. Drop down like, okay. 165, 165, 165, 165, 165, 165. Come on, get up there. Oh, yeah. Okay, so these are ready. Thank gosh. Chicken Parmesan. So there's my one sheet pan chicken Parmesan. So I followed directions on the back, but I used chicken thighs instead of chicken breasts. Mm -mm -mm. So I'm not going to try it. I'm not going to taste test it today because this is for dinner tonight. And uh, yeah, I'm not really hungry right now because I just ate breakfast. I just had the sausage and uh, eggs and coffee. So I will just uh, tell you that it's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be delicious. It's going to be great. It's going to be fabulous. So that's my recipe for today, guys. Thanks for watching. A like and subscribe and be sure to leave a comment below and I'll be back soon with another great recipe and another day in my life. Thanks for watching. Bye for now. So, you know, I just did the dishes. Everything was nice and clean. Guess where Jay's lunchbox was? In his lunch pail. I have a thing where if you don't put it in the sink and you don't clean it, you don't get a lunch. Should I punish him and say, no lunch for you today? You make your own? Fuck. Piss me off. I love you. I love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 16 years and he still hasn't learned his lesson. Take your lunch pail out because I hate washing it the next day. Love you. Especially when it's a Friday and, on, and he leaves it there till Monday. That makes me fucking mad. Oh. So now I've got to wash this greasy tomato based freaking lunch pail because he left it overnight in his lunch pail Ugh. men can't live with him can't live without him